Hey, hey, this is Dave Weber. Hey, I just wanted to do a really quick video. We're actually going to do a few of them. Um, how to make clickable MLSP banner ads. Now, this is pretty cool. You can put them on your, your website. You can put them on your blog. But you can also use them for free advertising, like Craigslist or, or Backpage. Um, but it, it's really cool. We can do this for free. Uh, you don't need any fancy software. You know, people sell uh, banner ad um, you know, services, but I'm going to show you how to do it for free. So clickable MLSB banner ads. Making these simple banner ads look great, and it saves a lot of time when you're advertising on free ad sites. You know, you go to put an ad up on Craigslist or Backpage or anything like that. It's a matter of a minute or two. You know, you open it up, you want to run an ad, boom, you type in a title, you know, like for webinars. You type in a title, networkers, you know, get free training webinar, the cost will be free, and then you, you come down to the edit box, and I'm going to walk you how to, I'm going to walk you through, show you how to do this. But you just put in, you know, click here, upload a, a, a picture, you're done. And then you move on to the next city or, or whatever. So it, it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, simple is better, remember. Uh, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> I mean, sometimes keeping it simple really pays off. Uh, we tend to overcomplicate things, and clickable banners uh, or pictures uh, help you keep it simple. Uh, I love free. And, you know, a lot of people these days think about this. In the United States of America, only one third of the adults in this country are working. You, you realize that? You know, a lot of people think, oh, you know, if I only I was in MLSP or my lead system pro when it first started. No, it, this is the best time in history to be in my lead system pro. There's so many people that need a truly effective way of making money online. So, you know, don't worry about being saturated or anything like that. There's, there's tons and tons and tons of people out there, millions of them. But you know, a lot of them don't know how to do this for free uh, or for free or for low cost you know you don't need to go out and buy Photoshop you don't need to buy expensive software you can use what's readily available so I love to show people free ways of doing things or cheap ways of doing things and uh, we're going to show you how to do that today now here's a simple one and, and I have these on every single one of my well the five major sites that I I have I probably have 25 blogs right now way too much work but I have five specific sites that I maintain and upkeep and one of them is for my lead system pro I'm a niche blogger I build a site for that particular program and I also have a branding site as well but here you know free weekly webinars this is one of the most powerful things that you can do in my lead system pro you know if you're an MLSP and all we do is share links we let our sales department handle the rest we let Brian Finale or somebody else do the selling, okay? We don't do sales. That's what I teach my team. Don't do sales. Don't you dare. That's not your job. It's not your job description. So all we do is give away free information. And the weekly webinars are really cool, you know, because when they click on this, they know they have to register. They know they have to enter in their name and email address. They know it before they push the button. See, a lot of other campaigns, they click on the button because they want something, uh, and then they freak out and they don't want to give you their name and email address. But for a webinar, they have to register. They know that they're going to get a link in their email. So before they push this button, they know they're going to have to register. What they don't know is that they're going to get a capture page <laughs> that gets them into your autoresponder, and then that's going to lead them to the page where they have to do it again. But they're already programmed and understand that they're going to cough up their name and email address. So this is a really cool button. Now we can use it like this, and I have this on my 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 uh, sites. You know, um, I have it right here on the site. This is my niche site for uh, you know for uh, my Lead System Pro. But I also have it on my branding site. You know, I have it over here. You know, and it's the same basically the same size as other you know other banners that other companies would have. You know. So, you know, it's right in line with your other MLSP buttons. It just looks and the color coordinated. You know, it's pretty cool. So um, it, it's an easy way, and they know. I'm telling you, they know. Before they even push that button, they know they have to cough up their name and email address. But I did mention Craigslist, a back page, or any free advertising. So we can make it bigger. It's the same thing. Now, with back page, you can make a clickable button and you can have that out there on the internet somewhere 
And as long as it's on a server somewhere with a URL address, you can use it because you're going to redirect it. But on Craigslist, they're getting away from that. They don't want you using third-party servers. You know, they want to know where that ad is. And probably because uh, as soon as you, they approve the ad, then you'll turn around and switch out the link. So they want you to upload a picture from your hard drive. And that's okay. That's cool. The only difference is we don't put the button in here. Instead, we'll upload the picture into Craigslist, okay? And then actually as soon as you enter in Craigslist, you're going to put uh, click here to get more information. Or click here to register for your webinar, and then there'll be a link. And, and I always get a link that I can forward instead of using my user ID. I'll show you how to do that in, in the next parts. But anyway, we can take the exact same thing and just enlarge it or make it a little bit bigger. And we'll be able to do it with the button for Backpage or some of the other free ads. Um, or we take the button out and then put a link under it for Craigslist. You can also use this, listen up, you can also use this for your signature file. And this is really important. Scrapers. I don't know if you know what a scraper is, but a scraper will go out there and pull from the Internet people's names and email addresses, and that's how come you get slammed with spam. Now, if you look at this, what I did was I made a picture in Excel. I, I actually made the, the font and the lettering on Excel. And then this lettering, I made it blue to make it look like a link. It's really not a link. But what happens is you put this on every single one of your pages on your blogs. Uh, you can put it on, on an email. You don't have to have your copyright. I do that for my blogs. But i just trying to kill more than one bird with one stone, you know. But uh, you can make this look like a link. But in actuality, if you go and you look on a website, you know, there it is. See, it blends right in with the rest of the white. It, it, it doesn't look like it's a picture. But if I click on it, if you look down in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, it says dave-weber.com slash dave-weber. See, I'm, I'm sending it to my blog. Now, the link says dave-weber.com, but the link I'm sending this to is the main page on daveweber.com. So it's dave-weber.com slash dave-weber. So, but they don't see that when they look at the link. It shows up. But if you watch my cursor, see, there's no picture up here. And as I come down, it turns into a hand. If I go over here, there's no picture over here. And as I come across, it turns into a hand. So this section right here, is a picture. But now the scrapers can't get my phone number and they can't get my email address. See? And this way you don't get spammed like crazy. You want people to call you. You want to be easily accessible. But you don't want to get hit with spam. You know? So we're going to go over a few things. I'm going to show you in part two how to do this on Excel, how to set it up. And then we're going to turn that into a picture. Okay? And then when we turn it into a picture, we can crop it just the way we want it, okay? And then, then we'll show you how to go ahead and, and make it clickable. But um, you can use, I mean, if you have Photoshop, you can do this on Photoshop, you know? I'm just showing you how to do it for free, you know, basically programs that you probably already have on your computer without going out and spending extra money. But you can play with colors, you can change up the size, and one of the things with Excel that I'm going to show you is, you know, on something that's going on a blog post or into Craigslist or Backpage, you need to know the pixel size. Well, you can use the cells and the columns and the rows on Excel and add them up to get the total size or rough size before you crop it in pixels. And then when we turn it into a picture, if you open it up a picture in your browser, the browser will tell you, at least on Firefox, it will tell you what the pixel size is. So we can crop this photo before we do any ads. And as long as it fits within that size, pixel size, you're golden. You're good to go. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel. You can do it in an equivalent. If you don't have Excel, you can go to op opensource.org. And you can download their program that they use, which is a copycat of Excel. It's just they're giving it to you for free. You know, God forbid anybody make money in this world, you know. But anyway, you can uh, get it through there. Uh, and then we're going to turn it into a picture. We're going to copy it and paste it into Paint, 
which is going to turn it into a picture, and we can select when we go to save it whether we use a JPEG format or GIF or, or PNG. I like to use PNG because it gives a very nice smooth line around the outside. You don't even you don't even see it. Uh, and then I I use Microsoft Picture Manager to crop it. Okay, and then we save the final uh, product as that. Now we can upload it if you don't have WordPress or some other blog or website uh, and you want to turn the, you need what you need is an, a URL address for this picture you need this picture accessible on the internet for Craigslist or for your blog it needs to be online somewhere in the cloud so to speak so you can do that using photo bucket the photo buckets free see I like giving away free information photo buckets free so you upload the picture to PhotoBucket, and you put it that you have libraries on PhotoBucket. You create a library where this picture's in there by itself, and you don't have <laughs> pictures of your family or anything in there. And you make it like a private, a private uh, folder where people can't go in there and snatch a picture or anything from you. But when you click on that after you upload it, it will have a URL address for it, and that's what we're going to use later on to make it clickable. And we're going to we're going to make it clickable. And we're going to use your user, you know, your affiliate link to, let's say, something like the webinar. Uh, and you can forward it, whatever. But we're going to use a link and that URL picture. We're going to put the two together, and we're going to create a snippet of code. Sounds technical, but I'll show you how to do it. And if you're on my team, I'll do it for you. <laughs> but we'll show you how to do this. But what you're going to have is a, a code. It's just a little line of code, and you all you do is copy it and paste it into Craigslist, or paste it into Backpage, or paste it into any of these things, and poof, you know, when you look at your ad, there you see the picture. So let's go over to part two, where I show you how to do this on Excel, and uh, this is pretty cool. You can use this on just about anything. So come on back, check out part two. I'll see you in a little bit.